You're three minutes late for the cabinet meeting. Aren't you the one who always says untimeliness is next to ungodliness? Uh-oh. Condi, Colin, get in here! What is it? George is dead. He choked on a pretzel. Well, that's quite a... twist. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny because pretzels have twists. How can you laugh at a time like this? The president is dead. Come November, we're unemployed. Can't you just run in his place? No, it would never work. People won't vote for me. I'm evil. So what are we going to do? Nobody can know he died. We'll have to speak for him. We'll have to make all the decisions he would usually make. Pretty much business as usual. Right. Except we'll also have to drag his body around weakened at Bernie's style. These were the only sunglasses you could find? These are his. They're actually what he wore. Mr. President, how can you continue to deny the existence of global warming in the face of mounting scientific evidence? Well, my answer to that question is fivefold. But first, let me say that I resent both the presumptive tone of your question and the confrontational manner in which it was asked. Hmm. Dick? Oh, uh, I mean, uh, <clears throat> I don't know much about globular warnings, but I do know this. Uh, it's hot in Texas, where I'm from. Good save. George, you know I don't like you wearing your sunglasses to bed. Also, I still don't get why Dick Cheney and Condoleezza Rice have to sleep with us now. They, uh, 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 put me in the mood. Mmm. Uh, mmm. Uh, uh, kiss. Uh, Dick, the president doesn't look so good. And he's starting to smell. Don't worry about it, Condi. A little Stetson and nobody's the wiser. Now you make him shake hands, and I'll take care of the small talk. <clears throat> uh, hello. I'm George Bush, the president, and I'm definitely alive. <laughs> um, uh, that guy's a terrorist. He detached the president's arm using his, uh, uh, super terrorist strength. Get him! Quickly, before he can get a water. Welcome back to the presidential debates. President Bush, how do you respond to... Mr. President, you can't have your advisors with you on the stage. The point of a debate is for you to answer the questions on your own. Uh, they're not here to advise me. They're just here for... Uh, support. I'm sorry, Mr. President, but they can't be on the stage with you. Then I can't participate in this debate. Why are you afraid to face me, Mr. President? Look, I'm the President of the United States, and I wasn't afraid of Saddam Hussein, and I'm not afraid of you. I mean, uh, I mean, he is the President of the United States, and, uh, you know, he, he wasn't afraid of... Everybody, look! The President is dead! He's not acting on his own! He's just a puppet being controlled by his advisors! You've all been lied to! You've been tricked! And there it is, as the last votes on the West Coast are still being counted. Concession from John Kerry, and a landslide victory for the Bush's corpse Cheney ticket. 